I want to tell you about a man who spends each week uh, inspiring African-American young men through his book club. This is Colin Pinckney, and he wears many hats, including business owner. But one of his most important projects is the We Are World Class Book Club at Olympic High School. Welcome to the show, Colin. Thank you for being here. I'm so glad me. that you're here tonight. Yes. First, tell me why, what led you to start this book club some eight years ago? Well, it was really a call to action. Mm -hmm. uh, school Olympic was having some challenges there, and I was working in the community, and, and they made a call and asked if I would come and just present, and that turned into staying every week and doing a book club. How do young men get into your book club? Well, right now they just, they they beg, right? <laughs> they're, they're trying everything they can. We've got a waiting list oh, right wow. now, but we we've kind of formalized it now. The principal and the school staff decide who gets in the book club based on who needs that type of attention, who would be benefited the most. So um, the school handles that. I just do the club and all those things. How many people are in? The, how many young men are there? In are this thirty club? right now. And every, there's a waiting list. There's a waiting list. There are boys standing in the hallway literally every week wanting to be in the book club. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So is it a situation where if someone doesn't show up or then you let someone in the waiting list? We've done that a few or, times. Okay. But the boys, if they should miss one week, they come back the next week wanting their spot. Okay. But okay. the idea is to build consistency, so mm -hmm. we try and keep them in all year long. How do you think that this is possible? you know, positively impacting lives because you think about all the noise that you have to rise yeah. above, everything that's on the radio, that's, that's right. on TV, social mm -hmm. media, you know, et cetera. Well, I think the, one of the things that's doing it, it really encourages me is it motivates boys to be in school, first of all, because mm -hmm. the book club is during the school day. Okay. And a lot of times these boys, you know, they they got plenty of distractions. <laughs> but when a boy says, I come to school to be in the book club, um, to me that means we'll make an impact. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. What books are you guys reading now? Well, currently we're reading a book called The Pack. We're doing it again we did it about five years ago okay it's a great story about three young black men who really got their lives together and made a commitment to go to college and become all doctors and it's a true story and what we find is that the true stories real life stories work best in the book club boys want to hear about people who've really been there and done that kind of thing right and I have to imagine that it has to be something that is gripping yes. to keep Young men today engaged. Yes. Well, it's got to be. You know, it's got to be almost street, right? It's mm -hmm. got to be guys who've been down and dirty in the streets. They know what life is like. They they've done all the bad things and they found a way to overcome obstacles and challenges and and make it you know back on top. And that's that really resonates with the boys. Is there a need for more books for your members? There's always a need for books. Every year we literally have to claw and scratch to get books and make because the goal is to make sure everybody gets a book and they keep the book. We mm. don't want them turning it back in like okay. it's a library. Okay. Okay. Ultimately, I want to see every young boy uh, in our community with his own bookshelf at home full of books that he's read before he graduates high school. And you would also like more male mentors to start book clubs across the school system, the district. I, I Totally. I've been trying for seven years, and, and if we could find men who would commit an hour and a half a week, we could make a big difference in the schools. Wow. And you have written a book. Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, this boys, is called the uh, boys challenged me. This blueprints. Blueprints. It's mentoring designs for young black males. It comes right out of the concept of the book club. Mm -hmm. And the young boys challenged me several, year, several years ago. They said, Mr. Pink, you got to write a book. And I promised the boys that if God would allow me and I could find the money, uh, I'd write a book. And I, so it's happening, and, and, and the book's out there, and people are reading it. And hopefully they'll read it and start book clubs with yeah. it. This is yeah. uh, such an awesome initiative. If you want more information on this book club, including how to help out, log on to WBTV.com. You know where to look. The Web Extra section under the Home tab. It's where you find all the information you need. Thank you so much, Colin Pinkney, for being here tonight. Thank Just you. a testament of what can happen when we invest in our community yes. and in our young people. Totally. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. for your time tonight. You're welcome. Right now, though, I want to get back.